And I think that's why they I think that's why they revealed Legends Arceus. I don't think they would normally have revealed it yet. No, because it's coming out early 2022, so it's, it's a bit premature. Yeah, I think they revealed it early because they knew what people would think about the art style of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Brilliant Diamond? Crap name. Glistening Diamond. Just, just there you go. So, you know, they, they've always been a little bit random. But the, these aren't these aren't these aren't random. These are just bad adjectives. <laughs> yeah, my instant reaction was, oh god, I don't like this. And over time, I've actually warmed up to it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I. No! Everybody and welcome to the trainer Callum channel today we are back with the Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Nuzlocke versus with your man Mr. William Prowse. It's your man William Prowse. <laughs> How are we this um, week Callum? Yeah yeah not too bad not too bad we had a nice good Pokemon day uh, oh, yesterday. We are going to be uh, talking yeah. about that today. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I am old. I am old and tired, as we mentioned before our uh, recording. We did the garden today, four hours worth of gardening. Three, two, one, go. Um, <laughs> did oh God, the garden. I I've, re <laughs> I've rearranged my room as well, so I've now got like an L-shaped desk. And I realised, right, my laptop is absolute crap. It is awful. So remember I asked you for your a picture of your layout? You did? Yep, I couldn't find that. Because oh. I, I lost my patience. I can't remember which episode it was in. And I lost Rant. my patience to try and find it. And I couldn't be bothered to, 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 to deal with my laptop. Um, That's fair. But I've actually changed my setup now. I've got an L-shaped desk made of a desk and an Ikea eight-piece shelf unit. <laughs> it's good. Excellent. Uh, although... Okay. Oh, Sorry, yeah. go on. No, no, you crack on, bro. No, no, you go. It's cool. I was going to yeah. change the subject, so... No, no, I'm just, uh, I'm really happy with where I've got my ring right now. Where's my phone? I'll take a picture of it, and I will remember this time. So, I've managed to just get, like, a command hook. And, um, I have hung my ring light on my wall. And it looks quite nice, if I do say so myself. Nice, mm. nice, nice. Yeah, so I've been very physical today, so I'm tired. Uh, yes. Yes, what's your next subject? Hit me, hit me with your so, next subject. So, first thing we're going to start with, before we talk about the various events of Pokemon Day, I'm mm. going to quickly talk us through my team. Oh, Beans, yeah, you did your grinding so this week. So, I did my grinding this time, because I forgot last week. Um, so, we've got Strong Boy at level 42. Now, as it happens, it had naturally gotten to that point at the end of the last episode, if you watch back and remember. Yes, maybe um, saying you're not going to grind that one, yep. Yep. Um, we've got Doug Trio at level 38, or Shucky, because that was my shuckle. Um, annoyingly couldn't rename. Uh, we've then got Omastar, who you might notice is now called Richard. Just Richard. Uh, <laughs> just Richard. Just Richard. Just Richard. I like the idea of one of my Pokemon just having a regular name. Um, it's like when you see dogs called Keith. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so yeah, we've got Richard the Omastar at level 38. We have got Chonk the Slacking at level 38. Nice. We've got Kraken Me Up at level 38, uh, which of course is our artillery. And Grandpa the Torkoal at level 38 as well. Ah, uh, I just hecked up this puzzle. Damn. Um... I, I grandpa the, the, oh yes you were going through a whole family naming stage weren't you yes <laughs> so yes, Torkoal was an early catch so how did Torkoal end up is it like is it a physical special attacker what's the crack it's a physical attacker which is frustrating yeah um, given it's only fire moves right now being flamethrower and fire spin yeah, that's not going to make great use of it. But I'm glad I've got a fire type regardless. Yeah. 
Because I'm not sure really if Torkoal can learn many fire physical moves. What is it? Fire... I mean, what? The TMs are randomised and it's preferred same type. So get find... A, I was going to say Flare Blitz, but that's not till Gen 5. Um, or Gen 4. Yeah. Mm, um, but then there's also, what? Fire Punch? Uh, flame Wheel? Oh, uh, speaking of which, it's just about to learn Lava Plume. Oi. Is that... Yes. Uh, is a special... It's not a bad move, though. Mm. Not, not really any double battles, though, are there? So. No, can't think of any double battles coming up for you. No, just another example of how they jo they don't want to change anything. They just want faithful remakes. Segway. Oh, that Speaking was smooth. Of... Oh, hell, Speaking... Callum, did it to him. That was nice. I like that. <laughs> Speaking of faithful remakes, uh, on Pokemon Day, we did get the announcement of Diamond and Pearl remakes, as yes. I was hoping for. However, they're not quite what everyone was expecting. Uh, no. I presume anyone watching who is into Pokemon, which is why they would be watching this, uh, has seen that rather than a sword and shield style game, um, it's it's similar to sort of Link's Awakening L on Link Switch. I was just about to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I, can't, I, I can't decide whether I like it or I don't. I'm kind of split. I had a pretty bad reaction to it when I first saw it. I will mm -hmm. be honest. It's kind of grown on me, though. Um, I think if it weren't for Pokemon Legends Arceus... Yep. Which I think about. my reaction and the general response would have been a lot worse. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why they... I think that's why they revealed Legends Arceus. I think especially looking at... Uh, the kind, you know, the performance wasn't great and stuff like that. I, I think if I don't think they would normally have revealed it yet. No, because it's coming um, out early twenty twenty two, so it is a bit premature. Yeah, I think they revealed it early because they knew what people would think about the art style of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Which also um, Brilliant Diamond. Crap name, glistening diamond. It's just yeah. There you go. I'm, I'm I'm not really sure on the names. Like granted, they've never made a whole lot of sense. Fire red leaf sure, green. Sure, fire red and leaf green. Dip. Sure, that's just you know, whatever. Though that's just a thing that is red and a thing that is green. <laughs> um, heart gold and soul silver. Heart and soul, not really a like a it, ho o and lugia thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that one, whatever. Omega, but, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire. But yeah, so there, the only kind of link there is, is that when Primal Reversion happens, one of them, it shows a little Omega symbol, one of them a little Alpha one. Other yep. than that, I don't think there's much... I don't know. Greek, I don't think there's Greek much mythology to it. around it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you know they they've always been a little bit random, but uh, I don't know this. But just, the, it feels... these aren't these aren't these aren't random. These are just bad adjectives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I I I my personal opinion is so. If they had stuck with one art style, that would be fine. For for we're talking strictly now, Diamond and Pearl remakes. If they're stuck with one art style, that'd be fine. The overworld is really really cute. I really quite like that little niche trying to get yeah it, it, it to be a kids game again. Really. Oh, like my that. counter for the cave is a trico, by the way. Uh, Ooh, but anyway, I carry love on. A I love a Love Um, but then when they showed the in battle animations, like that's a completely different animation. That's a different style completely. <laughs> That's so, a, I think I didn't get it. <laughs> I think the reason for that is kind of replicating the original games. Like right here, if you look at the Overworld with these tiny little squished down pixelated characters, but then when we see our character at the start of a battle, you know, we've got a proper artwork for him. 
um, well, in yeah, proper that, that, proportion. That, that, that's obvious, but but then going to look at Sword and Shield, it's like you got a human person in the overworld, a human person in the in, in the in battle animations. It's just the proportions. You're very squished down in the overworld in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but then you're a normal proportion person in battle, and like one or the other. Yeah, the I th other. I think they're just really really trying to recreate the original which um i get it i think rather than going it's like sword and shield where it's kind of middle ground it's like hey here's two sino based games one of them is a one for one remake to the point yeah. where because i think like if you just took the um if you just took the sprite artwork from these games and made them 3D. That's how it would look. Yes. That's not necessarily saying that that's a great look. But that is how it would look. So it's kind of like a... Hey, here's one that's just really super faithful. And what it would look like if we just turned it into a 3D game. And here's one... Interesting. Uh, my my encounter could have been a Machamp. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think... Then with Legends Arceus being like, and here's a completely different evolution of the series, unlike any Pokemon game you've played before now. The difficulty is, particularly with the Pokemon community. Hmm, we are a fickle bunch. <laughs> they don't like it when expectations aren't met. Yeah, yes kind of either way it goes just if it if if it's not what they expected the instant reaction is oh no i mean i'm, I'm kind of guilty of it myself my instant reaction was oh god i don't like this <laughs> and over time i've actually warmed up to it um but yeah i don't know i i think no you, oh, no what no oh, oh sorry. god oh jesus oh god <laughs> what right just happened the elite four discord just cracked up i didn't hear any of that it was me yelling because Cross Chop didn't kill the slacking and the slacking new counter. Oh god, did it kill something? It killed Marky Mark. Oh my god, really? Oh, friggity frack. Oh Jesus, that's a bad start. Oh, beans. Oh. Why? It didn't kill. Why? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. that is right before the Elite Four. Right I'm literally, Callum, I'm, I'm in the final rival battle now. This couldn't have been at a worse time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> We move. Um, I've got I've got a Harry armor in the box that I've got as backup, so we're fine. Oh, that's good. That's it's good. just gutting because I put so much time into that my champ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. I Where I think were we? the thing that I think the thing that bothers me about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you know, I've I've gotten used to the idea of the graphics. I think my only issue with the graphics is the way the trainers look. Everything else, I think, looks pretty good. The train, um, I, the trainer's movement in particular. Yes, that kind of that walk animation, particularly at the bit where it zooms in on Lucas, um, and he's kind. Of, it's the way his arms wobble, very cartoony. Um, but uh, you know, I think if I don't know, I feel like if <clears throat> the environments, I think, look great. Yes. Um, it's a really nice 2.5D type. I don't know. I, I think it's... I do like that they're exploring more things. It does make it feel less stale. And I think what I will say is that the fact that they have not really deviated from the formula in such a long time... Yeah. Added with the fact that there is this kind of expectation... I don't know. I I think I the, feel like... the, the, the expectation comes from the Switch was released. 
the first Pokemon game they gave us was Let's Go, and people saw the animation style there, and then we got Sword and Shield, but people were like, oh, again, it was, we're fickle. We go and went, oh, why didn't you change anything? But now we've had two games worth of that kind of look. Well, and then they've gone back to this, and everyone's gone, well, you're not making full use of the Switch, are you? What, you just... It's like... Yeah, so a few of my issues here, I mean, Let's Go and Sword and Shield look quite different. Not massively, not not to the near drastic extent that sort of Diamond and Pearl do. Yeah. Um, but they but they do look different from each other, and people were expecting it to look. Oh my god, a legendary encounter. Oi. I mean, I can't catch it. Oi. Oh, it's a ho. -o. I would have liked Sad oi. oi. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Where, where was I? Uh, yeah, in terms of graphics. Everyone was expecting an XY style graphics. Now, the reason being is that, unfortunately, a few hours before the Pokemon Presents, this stuff did leak. It did. Yes. Now, the stuff that leaked, now that you've all seen it and it's official and I can talk about it, um, there was some footage of Legends Arceus. There was a lot of debate about whether it was real or not. Yep. Because, to be fair... No one expected an open world Pokemon game reveal. Oh, I was thinking everyone anyone, thought that if, was just never going to happen. I think if anybody called that, they are like, oh yeah, I called that. You are lying. Absolutely, no one saw absolutely that lying. Coming. We've all wanted it. We never yeah. thought it was going to happen, especially yet. Um, and so that footage leaked. Everyone was a little unsure, but then, uh, then. The names, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, leaked. And the reason everyone was inclined to believe it, including the Legends Arceus stuff, not the footage came from somewhere else, but the name Legends Arceus and the details of it being open world, and uh, as the leaker called it, Feudal Sinnoh. Um, he leaked a few things, but one of them being the Nintendo Direct that like just happened. Um, yeah. And correctly leaked most of what was in it. So, at this point... Like, he has a small track record, but a 100% track record. Um, and so everyone, of course, was inclined to believe it. There was no footage of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Just that, in the details, it's called Brilliant, Di Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. It's in a chibi art style. And everyone read that to mean, oh, like XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Where the characters were kind of chibi style. They were a bit shorter with bigger heads and then they undid that for sun and moon and sword and shield and then they briefly sort of went back to it in let's go pikachu and eevee yeah. so everyone was kind of expecting an xy or s style art style just because that's how they were interpreting chibi as it happened it was as chibi as chibi art style gets um <laughs> and i don't know i i kind of like the diorama style i like it purely on the basis of it's different. It looks kind of cute. Um, it's top down again. Oh, my encounter also could have been a blast toys. There was so much good sh shit in this cave that I could have had. Um, <laughs> and as I say, I think if we didn't get the Legends Arceus announcement, I would be quite upset right now. I would be kind of kicking off about it a little bit. I, I, I saw a meme. Do you know the distracted boyfriend meme? Yeah. Where is that? It's <laughs> Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, <laughs> and then the boyfriend's looking back at Legends of Arceus. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, perfect. <laughs> I don't care that much about the... I saw it, I was like, yes, they're finally happy, they're finally happening. Then I saw Legends of Arceus, I'm like, this is more interesting. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm curious about um, is, I, I do think that the reason they've called it Pokemon Legends... Arceus is because there is potential for a for a Legends series. Yep. Um, which would be lovely. Legends of Rayquaza. Love yeah. Um, but, you know, it's also very clearly an experiment. Um, there are going to be things that we would normally have that we won't have. For instance, you know, trainers aren't a thing there's no league there's no gyms um we know we're building the first pokedex we don't know a lot about it so we also we don't know how big this open world is going to be we don't know how long the game is going to be 
I'm slightly concerned about the early 22 release date. I, mean, I would much one, rather them games. say it's going to be late 22 and we're going to take an extra almost year on it. It's people who will get themselves so worked up on it and say, oh, it's going to be early 2022. But they have to look. This is an open world. This is something they've never done before. If they say we're going to have yeah. to push it back six months, just accept it. Because this is something they're trying for the first time and they want to get yeah. it right. Because it has you know to live what? up to expectations. Even if it comes out and it's not Breath of the Wild, it's not this absolute masterpiece... I'm kind of okay with that. Like, I, I'm not expecting it to be. I think... <sighs> Breath of the Wild was so... <sighs> I don't know. I, know. I know it's different from what they were doing at the time with Zelda for a long time, but... They spent many, many, many years on it. There weren't many other Zelda games released in that time. And the ones that were were by completely different developers... We did just get Sword and Shield in 2019. We did get Let's Go in 2018. We did get some DLC last year. I know Game Freak is now big enough and they do have multiple teams. And I imagine that's part of it. There was an interview only a couple of years ago when Sword and Shield released when they were saying a lot of the developers at Game Freak are getting a little bit, you know, a little bit tired of, of, of Pokemon, um, which is why they were doing other things like uh, Little Town Hero and these side projects. Um, what's it called? They've got a subsidiary now. That they kind of, or at least a team that they call Gear Project. And um, essentially, they'll get a bunch of staff to pitch ideas for a little game. Um, and the one that is the most liked, they'll make it. And that's well, just their way of being like, a the team that worked on the last Pokemon game, they get a break from Pokemon and they make something else. There's um, a whole thing where Game Freak aren't actually doing, they, they, they aren't doing brilliant diamonds. So, I, Game Freak are doing Arceus. Yeah, and I quite like that. You know, the thing I find really funny is that... The, so, the Pokemon community kind of drove me insane yesterday. Um, and I'm real I, yeah, tired. Of right, them. so, I, I obviously, me and Callum, friends IRL. At least I think we are. Um, yes. <laughs> so, oh, um, yeah, so, I've seen you all on... Uh, commenting on Facebook things, Twitter things. I'm sure you've probably looked at Reddit at some point, knowing you. Have indeed. Yep. And yeah, Callum is like, guys, you need to stop complaining. You ask for different, they give you different, and you're still not happy. <laughs> yeah, so that's my in, issue. A lot of people in a say, brief why summary. doesn't it... Yeah, people are like, why doesn't it look like Sword and Shield? I'm like, you all just spent two years screaming at Game Freak saying we fucking hate Sword and Shield they're pieces of shit look at this ridiculous tree these graphics are <laughs> yeah. awful I can't believe you released this but showing pictures comparing a, a, a shot from the Isle of Armor to Breath of the Wild and saying look at the difference here it's ridiculous I can't believe the graphics look like this and then they did something that looks different and you're all like wait why doesn't it look like Sword and Shield I was expecting it to look like Sword and Shield I remember that there was a whole, that when you say a tree, there was this specific, specific clip that's just shown a tree rendering. And that was it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. guys, come down. It's a tree. And so it's one of those things of like, you're allowed to not like this art style. However, by specifically wondering why it doesn't look like Sword and Shield, it's like, well, you did just spend quite a long time telling them how much you hate how Sword and Shield looked. So, so they probably weren't inclined to do it again. <laughs> yeah, you know, pick and choose your battles, guys. Um, that's the only thing that's bothering me. There's there's a lot of hypocrisy going on right now. Um, that I just I, why? <laughs> um, as well, because obviously with the DLC, um, Pokemon follow you as well. That's another aspect. Obviously, people were hoping for, but they are, as you said earlier, doing what looks like true to original remakes so yeah and the only thing that disappoints me there uh as i realized is something i was going to say earlier and then just forgot uh the only thing that disappoints me is that it makes me think content will be one for one as well um, as, as long as mythicals aren't just given to you and they make a good because cinema yeah. has i would say arguably cinema has the best law it has yeah the best absolutely lore. But they don't and, do anything with it. <laughs> and, well, that that's what makes Legends Arceus perfect. Uh, as, yes. as, like, the, the region to do that in. Um, to do this kind of ancient tale. 
Perfect. Arceus, the perfect Pokemon to do that around. Cool. Awesome. But yeah, I, as I hope they keep, you know, um, was it Dark Moon Island or just Moon Island or whatever? The islands that Dark Ryan Cresselia are on, the flower yes. garden that Shaman's in. I would really like if they finally release the Azure Flute and we can go get Arceus up in Spear Pillar. It'd be quite cool if, obviously, because in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you can get to the Tojo Ruins. Um, it'd be quite cool if they did that for Sinnoh now. And yeah. they could literally yeah. place it. This, look, it's here as well. It, the, the two regions are linked. And play with that lore as well. So that that's something that concerns me. I don't think they're going to do anything like that. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get anything different. But the thing is, with that, as a person who's not... I'm not a hardcore Pokemon lover. I play whatever game I fancy playing that day. It just so happens that I like making Pokemon content at the minute. Um, yeah. But it's like, if it's going to be an exact remake of Diamond of Pearl, I'm just going to do this because <laughs> I can randomize this. I can make it interesting for me. Um, yeah. Which is a damn shame. So I hope they do bring something. They've got to bring something new. Otherwise, I'm just going to play Diamond I hope Pearl. so. Uh, I just... Unlike previous remakes, they really made a big deal this time about calling it Faithful. Um, right. They've never kind of come out and be like, hey, in this Faithful remake... And it's just not something they've ever really said before. And part of that is because... Well, Hog Gold and Soul Silver are quite similar. They just did some, like, DLC events with, like, the Celebi yes. time travel and stuff. <clears throat> Um, but Fire Red and Leaf Green had the Sevi Islands. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire didn't have a massive addition or anything like that, and they didn't if have anything, a Battle Frontier. They, I was about to say, if anything, they took away the Battle Frontier. Everyone's pretty um, much favourite bit of the whole game. And and that's the thing, and I don't think they're going to delve too deep into Platinum content. Um, we know there is potential oh, for there hang, to be some. Hang on, Callum, I've got the glitch. No worries. Uh... Cool. Uh, actually, just keep talking because we all know this happens. Yeah. We all know this happens, and it's just more editing for me to fuck around with my laptop with. Keep talking. No worries. <laughs> um, so, the the only glimmer of hope is that in oh, what was the town called? The one where you could there was the area you could go in to have your Pokemon out of the ball. The very flowery oh, town. Oh, I was just watching a Berkey Potoba video on this. Um, yeah, so... Am 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 Amity Square. Yes. And there, in Diamond and Pearl, there's a section. No one's there. In Pokemon Platinum, there is an NPC that is standing there. And she's the one that gives you the Great Adia flower, which lets you change Shaman forms. Yes. She's only there in Platinum because Shaman Sky form was only in Platinum. Um, and so that... You know, that is something that we've now seen is in, Diamond and, is in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that was not in... Uh, that was not in Diamond and Pearl. So, there's potential, but mm. I don't think they're going to do... They're not going to do um, Giratina's story or anything like that. Maybe there'll be like a... I don't know, maybe there'll be like a... Um episode at the end sort of like how we got the delta episode in omega yeah, ruby and alpha sapphire yeah 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 um but i don't know i think the fact that it's ilka making this and not game freak is part of why it's a faithful remake yeah i think if, if, ilka if, are playing it safe if they were going to make something whole new like put more stuff into it game freak would want control of that <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, but giving it to this... a secondary company, they're just gonna stick to it as safe as possible, like you say. Yes. Yeah, this anyway. gym <laughs> is quite the level step up. Um, <laughs> well, that's why we first um... trainer level thirty five. Fucking what? Right, that's why why you, why we agreed on level forty one max. Because yeah, Claire's yeah, I know. It's just 41. again just pointing out how ridiculous it is in this game. I'm like, <laughs> really, you've been throwing maximum level twenty three at me right up until this point and now suddenly it's 35 jesus um i'm realizing for this whole episode i've grinded gengar but i've got up two levels two levels in 30 minutes so i jesus. think i might have to oh god yeah we're near the end yeah 
I'm like, um, I, I'm in, uh, reaching at the end of Victory Road, I'm just grinding now, but I'm like, I'm going to have to take on the Pokemon League, because I can't sit and grind in between episodes, because we record three all in one night. <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. have to go under-leveled into the... <laughs> Oh no! I didn't think Mantine would have wing attack. It's a flying boy. Yes, I clearly didn't know that. I thought it was a pure water type. <laughs> what a stupid typing for it <laughs> to have. In which case, if I'm going to have to go in under level to the Elite Four next episode, I'm going to have to, because i still got two level 39s on my team. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Capham. <laughs> <laughs> so uh I'll, I'll slightly wrap up our uh bdsp talk as that's the new that's uh, the new shorthand yeah yeah um they always sound weird to me at first now to get used to them i used to hate the idea that it was auras and now i've just kind of gotten used to it you know someone's um, gonna say bdsm on you <laughs> yeah right like no 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 bdsp okay please let me finish uh, <laughs> don't make assumptions um but yeah, overall, like my thoughts on BDSP, I am looking forward to them. I think if you're not aware of who Ilka as a company are, because I certainly wasn't, um, they are mostly a CGI studio. Uh, Had to look at what they've okay. worked on. They've worked on a few things, which includes Dragon Quest XI, Metal Gear Rising, uh, Nier Automata. Great games. <clears throat> they mostly did CGI trailers for them. Interesting. Especially as soon as you say CGI and then you look at the style of game they're doing. I wouldn't put those two together, really. Yeah, and you know, on top of that, as they mentioned in the direct, and I've just so you know, Will, I've largely stopped playing because I just beat, uh, beat that, uh, lead, oh, okay. that trainer. Right, um, I shall say. Just you quickly know, wrap pr this up. Pr pretty much every episode this week, heads up, guys. Uh, we are just going to be talking about the remakes because fuck me, they're cool. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot um, to talk about. Uh, right, Moltres, die. That and you know what? Actually, you can all watch the next episode to hear further thoughts. <laughs> I'm not going to wrap up here because there are many further thoughts now I think about it. So um, many thoughts. Right, yeah, I'll so many thoughts. and we wrap up now. And we have to talk about Legends Arceus. So Ooh, be sure to yeah, check boy. out the next episode. Talk about that. Because, I mean, really, that that's the big one. That's mm. the big boy. It is. It is. <clears throat> right, yeah, I'm all safe, bro. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out the next episode. Comment below, what do you think about Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus? Where do you think the future of the franchise is going? I love talking about this stuff, so please comment below. I'd love to get into a discussion about it. Uh, anything you want to say before we sign off, Will? Come over to my channel for the next episode, where we're going to be discussing BDSM. B BDSP, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> or both. Be sure Find to out. do that. Maybe we'll discuss both. I don't. You know, who knows? Anything can happen on this crazy show about a children's franchise. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Fairly well.